Well, my friends, the time has come to raise the roof and have some fun. Throw away the work to be done. And let the music play on. Beautiful night in the Steel City, Confluence, as the Steeler Nation gathers to cheer their guys on. Weather a whole lot better than it was last Sunday in Cleveland. Wonder how much Ryan that played a role in Deshaun Watson, who, who was not great. They didn't win that game because he was awesome. They won it because their defense was. What does he need to clean up? Welcome to an absolutely beautiful mid-September night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They are ready to renew this great rivalry on Monday Night Football. Miles Garrett is one of the best athletes, one of the best defenders on the planet, and part of one of the best defenses now in the NFL, it would seem. He and his teammates will be coming after Kenny Pickett here tonight, looking for a bounce back after a rough start against the 49ers Week 1. Welcome to the progressive Monday night kickoff. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I am Joe Buck. That's the Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman. Glad to have you with us. And it's always fun when the Steelers and the Browns get together. Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers and about Kenny Pickett. That was a rough beginning a week ago against a very good San Francisco team. I'm excited. He should be excited to see how he comes out <laughs> and bounces back here tonight. Well, yeah, and it's one of those weeks that's tough on everybody. You put so much emphasis on week one and then to go out and play the way that they did. And defensively, they've got to shore some things up. The offensive line has to protect him better. But Kenny Pickett has to take some ownership for some of the decisions that, that he made and how he threw the football. And there were such high expectations coming into this year because of the way he finished last season and the way that he played in the preseason. But, yeah, this will have to be a bounce-back game for Kenny Pickett. Well, the defensive coordinator now for the Browns is a guy named Jim Schwartz. He's coached some of the best defensive rush ends it really in the league in the last 25, 30 years. He thinks Miles Garrett can be at the top of the list. Yeah. That is high praise. Miles Garrett is uh, at a level unto himself. Well, he's the focal point every time an offense prepares for the Cleveland Browns. And now this year, you combine Miles Garrett with Zadarius Smith, and then they shored up the interior of that defensive front. They're strong at the linebacker position. They've got an outstanding secondary, and all of that creates problems, and it's the outcome that we saw last week in shutting down that offense for the 49ers. Sean Watson was suspended for the first 11 games last year, came back for the final six, had basically been out for two years, uh, and maybe uh, evaluating his skill level at that point isn't fair looking ahead now to 2023. Week one was a brutal weather day in Cleveland, so I don't know that we know now how good this offense can be for the Cleveland Browns. We'll find out something here tonight. Yeah, I think so. Conditions are good for throwing the football. Of course, the Cleveland Browns under Kevin Stefanski, one of the best running teams in all of football. But Deshaun Watson presents things that you just simply don't get from a lot of other quarterbacks and his big playability. And he wants to get the ball down the field. So this is going to be a fun game to see what he's capable of doing. We didn't get to see a lot of it last year, but we expect a lot more than certainly what we saw a week ago. Okay, so if Kenny Pickett is worrying about Miles Garrett, 
Deshaun Watson's got to be worrying about number 90 for the Pittsburgh Steelers, a game wrecker in T.J. Watt. Well, since he came into the league in 2017, he leads the NFL in sacks, and he leads the league in sack fumbles. And so you combine that with all of the other things that he's capable of doing tonight, the big challenge is that he's going up against a rookie in Dewan Jones making his first NFL start at right tackle. And you can only imagine how excited T.J. Watt is for this one. Ask Mike Tomlin what kind of a night Dewan Jones was in for facing T.J. Watt. Mike Tomlin said he's going to get an awful lot of help. He better. Watt's coming after him. Take a break. Come back to Pittsburgh after this. the job done. This is Monday night. 